It's a dream come true for Team Aditya L1. Aditya L1 satellite separated. And I'm extremely happy that Aditya L1 is injected into the intended orbit. पुष्टि कर दी गई है परिशुद्धता से इसके नंबर सभी दर्शकों को गुड अफ्टरनून इट्स अ ड्रीम कम ट्रू फॉर टीम आदित्य एल वन एंड आई एम एक्सट्रीमली हैप्पी दैट आदित्य एल वन इज इंजेक्टेड इन द इंटेंडेड ऑपिट फ्लॉलेसली बाय पीएसएलवी एस ऑलवेज and Aditya L1 solar panels are deployed and the spacecraft will be normal and Aditya L1 has started its 125 days of long journey towards L1 we have uh, our earth burns to rise the orbit and that and followed by the trans L1 injection and finally insertion into the halo orbit in the sun earth Lagrange inner point L1 once the Aditya is commissioned, it will be an asset to the heliophysics of the country and even to the global scientific fraternity. And I take this opportunity to thank Chairman Isro, uh, Director URSC, and former Director URSC, and all the Center Directors for their support and guidance for making this mission possible. And my thanks are due to my project team and all the project executives across the center payload teams, especially the teams from the IAA and IUCA for the relentless effort in building the payload as well as the spacecraft. And my, spe my special thanks to the expert committee who have been guiding all through the entire project life cycle. And I thank all the industrial partners and the entire URSC team for uh, their invaluable contribution. And, uh, I feel really honored and privileged to be part of this mission. And at this juncture, I like to remember, I would like to remember Professor Yuar Rao, who sowed the seed for this uh, mission and looking forward for a successful halo orbit in session and for the science, great science output from the Aditya L1 mission. Thank you, thank you all. To put the thing in context, uh, I am the director of Indian Institute of Astrophysics and we have delivered the, the, one of the major payloads on this mission. This is the visible emission line chronograph. So if you actually look at the words used in it, it is visible because it is using, seeing the sun in the visible wavelength. Emission line, so what is it detecting? It is the emission line of certain elements because the corona is hot. The emission which you get is in the terms of, uh, it's not absorbing the light which is coming from the uh, uh, sun, but it's already hot, so it is coming down by emitting lines. So we are tracking these lines using what? A coronagraph. Now what is a coronagraph? This instrument makes a total solar eclipse all the time within the instrument. So you are looking at the sun all the time, 24-7 through using this mission, and this instrument looks at the sun as though it is always in total solar eclipse. Now, why you want to have the eclipse all the time? Because you want to see the corona. Why corona? Because when sun burps, when sun is angry, the corona is what it takes the matter away. Now, what is unique about this instrument? This is going to see the corona as close as possible from the disk of the sun. Now, what is so challenging about it? It is because the sun's corona is a million times fainter than the disk of the sun. So you have to not see the disk of the sun, but see only the corona. So this instrument is very difficult to make, challenging, but it is made, now it's going to the orbit. Now what we plan to study using this instrument is the corona, its dynamics. Through this emission line, you can actually measure the velocity by simple physics called Doppler effect. So you can measure the velocity, you can measure how much matter is moving, and eventually how that matter will come to the Earth and the helios heliosphere. So it's overall this instrument, along with the others, of course, the other PI will also be explaining about it. So these holistically will give you a lot of information regarding not only the sun, but also the heliosphere. Thank you.